functions and their graphs. We look at the four basic types of functions. The first one we take a look at is the quadratic function. The quadratic function in the shape of a parabola. Um, the quadratic functions will have x squared in them. Linear functions are this, in the shape of a straight line. Most commonly we see those as y equals mx plus b form. The absolute value functions I think are some of the, the easier ones to recognize because absolute value will be in the shape of a v and the absolute value has a v in its name. And then finally the exponential function. The exponential function sort of looks like a plane taking off, sort of like a j. It also could be reversed like a plane landing. Um, it sort of has that curved figure with a, like, a, like a plane taking off. And when we talk about functions and their graphs, most commonly we talk about a vertical line test in order to test whether or not the function or whether or not the graph is indeed a function. And what the vertical line test says is if any vertical line passes through more than one point of the graph, the relation is not a function. So really what that means is that if I were to pass this vertical line through each one of my graphs, this vertical line can only hit my graph at one particular point. If it hits at more than one point, then my graph is not a function, or my relation is not a function. As I pass this vertical line through, uh, let's just stop it right here, and you can see my vertical line is only passing through that one point there. And you would notice as I kept it going, the vertical line only passes through just one point of the quadratic function graph. How about the linear function? As I pass it through, the vertical line only touches at one spot. Similarly with the absolute value, only touches at one spot anywhere on the graph. And finally with the exponential function, it would only touch at one spot on that graph. So each of these indeed are functions. However, if we take a look at a couple that might not be a function, we take a look at these two graphs. We obviously have a graph of a circle. And we have a graph of a sideways parabola. It's actually the graph of uh, y equals the square root of x. If I took my vertical line and I passed my vertical line through each of these graphs, you notice right off the bat my vertical line is going to hit the graph of a circle at two spots. That automatically tells me that the circle is not a function. This relation is not a function. And just like the circle, the sideways parabola, like I like to call it, also hits the vertical line at two spots. All it takes is one spot on the graph for the vertical line to hit two spots and it's not a function. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a list of points, a list of coordinates, and see whether or not the list of coordinates represents a function. Remember our definition of a function is for the set of coordinates to be a function, each x value can only have one corresponding y value. And remember when we talk about x values, we're talking about the things we put in. These are our input or our domain or our independent variables. And for our y coordinates, that's the output. And we most commonly call that the range or the dependent variable. So as we look down here, I've gave, given you a list of five points. That list of five points or five ordered pair is called a relation. And I want to see if that list of five points is indeed a function. Now, what I've done is I've plotted those five points down here on the x-y axis, and so that allows me to, to use my vertical line test. I'm going to pass my vertical line through each of those points, and notice that it only passes through one point at a time, at any moment. It only passes through one point. And I can do that all the way through. Every single point, it only crosses at one point. Therefore, I can say that this set of coordinates or this relation is a function. Now if I come over here, I notice that my vertical line passes through just that point, it would pass just through that point, it would pass just through this point, but as I get to these last two points, my vertical line hits them both at the same time. Therefore, it fails the vertical line test and I can say that this relation or this set of coordinates is not a function. And I want to look really carefully at the set of coordinates because sometimes you're not going to have the graph to do your vertical line test. If I take a look at these last two coordinates right here, 2, 2, and 2, 3, that's where I have my problem. I notice that the x values are the same. They both have 2 and they both have a different y value. That contradicts what I say up here for a, for a function. For each x value, you can only have one corresponding y value. 
Here I have two different y values for the same x value. Now you might be asking yourself, well what about the y values? Because over here in my function, I've got two points that have the same y value. 0, negative 2 and 2, negative 2. But if I notice my vertical line passes through only one point at each of those two coordinates. So as a result, we're not looking at our y values if they are repeating. We are only looking to see if our x values are repeating. So the shortcut when we see a list of points, we want to see are there points that exist that have the same x value. On this slide, we're going to take a look at a couple of examples. Number one and number two, we want to determine whether each is each is a relation, each relation is a function. So number one and number two, I simply have the graph. I'm going to pass my vertical line through. And for number one, as I pass my vertical line through, there is no point on that graph that hits my vertical line more than once. So this is an example of a function, number one. Number two, see the same thing with number two. I'm going to pass my vertical line through. Just hits once there. Pass my vertical line through. Up oh, right there, I pass my vertical line through, and I notice it hits two points at the same time. Not a function. Okay, now let's see if we can just do it by just the list of the points. Let's figure out if these relations are a function. Again, we're just going to be looking at the x values. So for number 3, my, I have x values of negative 5, 0, 0, 3, and 3. You notice these two points have the same x value. These two points have the same x value, and they both have different y values. Automatically, I know, not a function. And finally, in number four, I look at my x values, negative four, negative two, zero, two, and three. All of these points have different x values. Therefore, this would pass my vertical line test if I were to graph these points. This relation represents a function. Even though my y values repeat, again, we're not looking at the y values. We only are looking at the x values.